Hello, my name is Tana Gober, and if you're new here, welcome, welcome. So I tried this hairstyle for the first time, and it turned out so well. I thought I'd do a little tutorial for my girlies. So you're gonna need a few things to get this done. First, this Austin hair gel or Shannon jam if you have it. A rat tail comb, some mousse. The brand doesn't really matter that much. This one works fine. Some oil, and this is extra virgin olive oil. This is the hair that I'll be using. It's the expression to set up springy afro twist. So it's 16 inches in black. Got to be glued for my edges. A crochet needle and a few clips like this. For this method, I parted my hair in sections and plaited the roots 2 inches long for each section. And I actually used the Ossian gel so the roots look neater and it helps with grip. I clipped the ends to keep my hair stretched so I already started the back and this is how it looks so far. For the amount of hair, you want to take one of the sections and separate that into two even sections. Run your fingers along the length and twirl the center around your index finger. If you look at the crochet needle, you see a hook. Push your crochet needle through the root of the hair, attach the extensions to the hook and then close the needle. Pull the hair through until you have a loop. Put your hand through that loop and pull only one side all the way through till you have two equal sections on both sides. Next, you want to separate the expression hair into three even sections in preparation for braiding. I went ahead to take out a part of my hair that was in plaits since I kind of braided it too long and I wanted it to blend well with the twist. After you do that, all you have to do now is braid the hair normally for about two inches and then start to twist. I like to braid the roots because I think it helps the hair to hold for longer and if you're wondering why I use a crochet needle and not just braid the roots with the hair, it's because I don't quite know how to do that yet and I think this method gives it a natural look from the roots as well. I use the clip to fasten the hair as I twist it further down and if you see that white thing on the hair, it's just a hair product. Once I'm finished with the twist, I clip the ends that look raggedy. And don't worry about the hair coming undone because the texture is so much like natural hair, it stays in place. If you didn't get it the first time, I'm gonna show you guys one more time. So take half of a section of the expression here, run your hands along the length to fluff it out a little and twirl the center around your index finger. Open the crochet needle and put it through the root of your plait. After that, just hook the hair with the crochet needle. Close it and pull the hair through until you have even lengths on both sides. Separate the hair into three and braid the roots first, then twist it. Make sure to twirl the hair while you're twisting. I was actually surprised at how light the hair felt. It's not heavy at all and quite easy to install. After I was finished with the twist, I went through once more to check the ends and clip the parts that just didn't look right. After that, I used the olive oil for my scalp since I didn't oil it after I washed it. I then went in with the mousse to add shine and help hold and also did my edges with the gotta be glue gel.
and this is the final look for my first time i'm actually pleased with how it came out how it feels and i'm definitely gonna try this hairstyle again i love how close the texture of the hair is to my actual hair and it just came out so bomb you know i really hope this tutorial was helpful and if it was don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more content from me see you guys in the next one bye